all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and because we spent the first video talking about the mr moon knight uniform and the fact that his tier 2 passive is missing in action right now um sorry entity i can't join right now i'll join when it can um i kind of skipped over the new events that are going on right now and i just wanted to briefly touch on that because we do have some changes to first and foremost <laughs> these events right here are really good it's nice to see that they're continuing them because they've been i mean a little sus this update so it's nice to see that this is back and it is slightly better than it was before by the way these tokens bro they look so good like they actually i know it's just a token but they look so good by the way guys make sure you do all these things every day i have a tendency to forget about doing these every day just because i'm playing grand cross right and kof a little bit still so yeah let's jump into it they did change it up and yeah this right here i gotta have it man like i know if you're free to play this is not what you should get okay you should not be getting that because that's not going to enhance your gameplay experience that's just going to be you flexing on people with this cool ass icon when they see you on the forum or they see you in like the public lobby or whatever right or in your alliance chat this is what you should get always always right because that's going to help you get a premium character to like tier two or whatever but the story is actually a little bit better than it was previously so they've actually added awakening crystals it's expensive 200 tokens right it's expensive for 50 but they've actually added that and what i'm even more excited about is the fact that they actually added three star tickets right so the past couple months they've given away a premium character red she hulk and thane right and you've only been able to get them to two star however if you log in every single day you can actually get one of those characters all the way up to six stars you can get the three star four star five star and six star ticket and then if you were doing the other events and not getting the icons to flex on people you would have gotten a mega tier two ticket and then you can actually get that character to tier two it's unfortunate right that this is the month that they chose to give away these three tickets because well not these three tickets but the three star ticket because this is the month that they specifically chose to leave out the uh paywall character from this if they had added morbius here and then added the three star ticket then it would have made it so that free-to-play players would have a way to get morbius for free to tier two so they can actually awaken moon knight it's 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 bittersweet right because now with this ticket if you do go here and complete this event and buy all these tickets you will be able to get tane or uh, red she hulk to tier two for free but you don't really need them for anything right red she hulk is a leadership thane is a leadership and a world boss clearer right but you do need morbius if you want to awaken moon knight or elsa bloodstone <sighs> So it, it does kind of suck. The only option that remains to you is if you're free to play is to buy Morbius from the bio sub and then like <laughs> just use those tickets on him. Or I would never recommend this, right? I would never recommend this. There's the premium hero chest, which I don't even know where that shit is located because that thing is just a massive ripoff. Is it in characters? I, I don't even know where it is. Yeah, this thing you can try your luck here but honestly man don't do it okay don't do it don't please don't do it like look how many characters are in here man i, I see people asking me all the time bro can i should i just spend three thousand crystals and like try to get a premium character from here no never do it never do it look how many characters are in here man i think honestly at this point they should remove all the free-to-play characters out of here and just make it so you have a random chance of getting bios for premium characters like that's what they should do <sighs> it's unfortunate but it is a good look and I do hope that they continue to include the three-star ticket moving forward because then if they do go back and occasionally every other month or so put the uh, paywall character or at least a couple bios for the paywall character in the future pass, I will continue to support it. And that way it will give uh, free-to-play players an opportunity to get a couple of these paywalls, not every single one of them, to tier two for free over time. So it is a good look. I am happy with this like new addition to the token shop. In addition to that, 
we do have some more events that are coming for the uh, Mr. Moon Knight uniform release. So first and foremost, we obviously have the uniform sale for Moon Knight, which Moon Knight Sale to Pass is still bug. We have uniform sales for all of these uniforms that are tied to Moon Knight. And I spoke about this previously, the Sharon Rogers uniform is outdated, so it kind of sucks that they are including this, but it is what it is. Domino's uniform kind of sucks as well, but Yelena is a PVP monster. So this uniform, if you have the character, is a great buy, but then the Black Widow uniform is kind of lame. And the last uniform that is included for Moon Knight is actually Iron Man, but that's the one you get from clearing the story, right? You just have to clear it one time and you get all three uniforms for the uh, Avengers $30.99? Yeah, $30.99. So yeah, additionally, we do have the token shop here and then if we go down we have the odin's blessings event last time i spent a whole bunch of gold on this thing and i only got a couple odin's blessings and you guys said i got lucky even um i would ideally recommend that you guys skip over this event right now just because your mamu is gonna eat up a lot of your gold then there's possibly another tier three coming in ghost rider or blade or elza and actually not elsa because elsa already has an awakened skill right but there could be a uniform coming for Elsa that you need to upgrade for her or whatever, right? So this is poor timing for this event, in my opinion. So I'm going to skip over it. And I would ideally recommend that you guys do that as well, because you could spend like 50 million gold and only end up getting one Odin's Blessings, where you could just literally play um, story mode every day for a week, and you could end up getting like four or five. So I would ideally recommend that you skip over that unless you have a plethora of gold just laying around. Then we have a ranking event for Dormammu and Moon Knight, one for Crystal, one for, hold on, what? Achievement reward? Okay, whatever. And then we have gear upgrade. Man, I thought that would be better. But they are giving away, this is important. This is what I wanted to talk about. They are giving away 30 bios for Sam Alexander, okay? This is important. You wanna cherish these biometrics because the Ultimates are a cash cow for Marvel Future Fight. And it's only a matter of time before they return. They're the only characters we've ever seen them sell in this game for legitimately dollars, like no crystal, just dollars, just give us money, all right? And when they come back, you can expect them to be just as powerful as they were when they came out, like ahead of everybody else, right? So just expect that. And what you should be doing is stockpiling a whole heap of bios for Blue, for Blue Marvel, Anti-Man, and Nova. Because when they return, best believe they will be a driving force in this game. I'm expecting like um, Blue Marvel Tier 3 or Awaken skill, and I'm expecting the same thing for Anti-Man and Nova. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You should be doing what I do pretty much every time I'm filled up on antimatter. Like that's basically a hint. Like they're doing it for Heritage Month, Hispanic Heritage Month. But basically what I do every time I'm filled up with um these pink antimatter, I just go here and I go to the universal, not 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 X Gene. I go to the universal and I just like spam this until I run out. Because every time I get a couple bios for the ultimate, it gets me closer to the goal of when they do get a uniform. I got none here. Come on. Anyways, right? Get, I got two here for Sam. So every time I get a couple bios, it gets me closer to the point where when they get a uniform, I can upgrade that uniform to Mythic for free without using any tickets, right? So where, where are my bios? Rank up materials. How many bios do I have for these guys? Um, Where are they? They usually are at the bottom. I can't find them now. Oh, they're up here. So I got a, <laughs> I'm a long way off for Nova. And okay, 191 for you is not bad. And then, yeah. So you can see, like, I've been doing this for a while and I only have just a hundred or so. All right. So you guys should be doing this literally every single day. You like collect your antimatter. Just get as many universal buyers as you can. Use up the ones that are free to play friendly to like level up characters or whatever and hoard these things because it's only a matter of time before these guys come back. Just keep in mind that in the story mode right here, um, there's only a couple chapters left to be unlocked and the one after the shield will be the one for the ultimates. So let's say they space this thing out and there's two months in between. Four months from now, we probably see the ultimates come back. Okay, so we're just going to wrap it up right here. Just wanted to point out these events that are going on right now and just give you guys some tips that you could ideally be using. Um, this thing was, okay, chill, chill.
this thing was already going on they didn't change it that's fine so yeah let me know what you guys think of the mr moon Knight uniform till next time stay safe and i'll catch you guys peace out